What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the five sets for success uh, as made famous by S. Gibbs and Z. Farls from MaddenTips.com. You can check them out, www.MaddenTips.com, one of the best Madden websites in the business right now. And uh, today's video is going to be all about the base formation. Just like on offense, we are talking about defensive base formation. Now, one of the things that I really have uh, kind of expanded upon is the why in Madden and why do you do what you do in the in the question uh, is because I have to have uh, some kind of why. Otherwise, I feel like my what doesn't matter because if if in the way I see it is if an if offense is audibly because in the grand scheme of things, if you think about it, your base play should be man and zone. So if it should be man and zone, technically it should be every coverage that is ever called. So why would you ever audible out of that play if it's the best play? Why would you ever change that play up? And obviously, of course, we say you need to change it up, but do you really need to change it up? And uh, I think that is, is a point that expands upon what I'm going to talk about today and how the formation should dictate what we call. And um, what we're going to be talking about today is having a base play uh, that can be okay against everything. Uh, and, and that's kind of the key for me for a base play. A base play is something that I feel like needs to be uh, not very good against the pass, not very good against the run, not very good, not very good against the blitz, with the blitz, with pressure, but decent across the board. So it doesn't need to be your run stopper. It doesn't need to be your pass stopper. It doesn't need to be your blitz. It doesn't mean doesn't need to be your goal line defense. It doesn't need to be your third and long defense. But it could be all of those. And uh, for me, that's the four three over odd, uh, or excuse me, the four three odd uh, cover three buzz. This is my favorite base play uh, in the game. It's what I run, and I really really like it because of the strength of the four three odd is to the right side. But the left, the coverage on the left is very effective. In this specific play, the run support is very good because of the angles that the linemen have, and it's just a very good overall play. And so, what I want to show you on this is a couple of adjustments uh, that you might be considering when considering base formation. But I like to buzz zone both of these guys. I like to put the safety over the center, put him in a hook zone, man align twice, or excuse me, man align and then base align. And then now I'm set up, I'm ready to go. And this is a very good inverted cover two is one of the best base plays in the game, in my opinion. Any inverted cover two is really good. But the beauty of it is the pass coverage and the way that the, the blitz angles come in pretty decently quick. But again, you're looking for that play that is, is something that can fill out your opponent, something that can give you a basic idea of what they want to be doing on offense, not 100% uh, idea on trying to stop them just yet. The base play is simply designed to give you access to information. What routes do they run? What formations do they run? When they audible, what formations do they audible to? Uh, Etc. Things like that. Things that you can do uh, with this cover three buzz. And so really the only weakness uh, with the cover three buzz, especially when you hot route those outside linebackers to purple zones, you maybe rehook a locust so that he goes into the seam a little bit more. You really don't even have to put that hook zone uh, to Nelson out there, but I like to do it anyway. I think I just messed up my linebackers. Let's see here. No, this will be all right. And, and, and so what you're vulnerable to, especially if you're user controlling um, the safety here, you see you're really only vulnerable to the deep, deep uh, user catch. And a lot of guys aren't going to just sit there and do that, especially with the in rush that you're going to get out of this play anyway. And uh, a couple of adjustments, of course, to the ends. You can re-blitz them. Etc. But the pass rush in Madden 25 is so good that you don't necessarily have to have a blitz. It's almost as if the pass rush may even be a better way of getting pressure than a blitz. And so I encourage you guys to try that out. I encourage you guys to check out the cover through buzz. Uh, but I also encourage you guys to find your own base play. And uh, a base play is something, like I said, it's something that can do a very decent job against everything. Now, the old view of a base formation is something that you can access all the coverages. So you come out in a cover four, you can access a cover two man under, a cover two sink, a cover two, a cover zero blitz, and a cover three. All those coverages are accessible through your quick audibles. I still like that approach, 
but I do say that it's it's not as good as it once was because you cannot audible to every single formation you would necessarily have in the past. Meaning I can't come out and say four six normal cover four, get to four six normal cover three, cover two, cover uh, two man under and cover zero, and then also audible to like my five two run defense. It just doesn't work the same way. And so we work around that by having a do everything base play, and then we base our audibles off of tendencies, different things that we're seeing in the office today. We're going to be talking about that uh, in the days to come. But uh, as far as a base play for right now, I would suggest just going with a basic play, such as a cover three buzz. I really like cover three buzzes from a lot of playbooks. Um, cover sixes are very effective. Um, another thing that's really good is any uh, five-man zone blitz. So, for example, the 3-4 Trio Sky Zone, uh, one of the better uh, five-man pass rushing zone blitzes in the game. And it's actually fairly decent against the run to the right. It's a very decent balanced coverage. Something to consider. Depending on what kind of thing you want to do. Do you want to blitz? Do you want to play coverage? If you want to blitz, I would recommend the Trio Sky Zone. If you want to play coverage, I would recommend the Dollar 326 Cover 4. If you want to be a mixture, be flexible, I would obviously recommend this Cover 3 Buzz, which is arguably uh, my favorite base play in the game. So, anyways, guys, with that in mind, uh, I invite you to consider and respond in the comments with your favorite base play in Madden, which you've been using to shut down people, uh, which you've been using as kind of your base. A lot of people are going to be saying two men under. I agree with that but i don't think that two man under is as strong in the run as this cover three buzz is so thank you for your time and uh, we will talk to you guys later be sure to stay tuned to the content coming uh, throughout the remainder of today as well as we are finally back on schedule with our four video a day schedule so thank you guys so much for your time and uh, hopefully you guys are excited as i am getting to the off season and really start preparing for madden 15 thank you for your time today guys once again and we will talk to you soon